like I told you over the phone, it's not about Todd. Not directly. I, I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. More than you'll ever know. Okay, now you're scaring me. What the hell is going on? A lot, and um, I know all about it, Taya. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What the hell did you get this? This is my private oh, business. Okay. You can't read someone else's hey, I'm sorry. No, you're not. According to that report, you're dying. No right to steal my personal record. I didn't records. steal it. It was an accident, I swear to you. Oh, my private file accidentally went home with you. No, I I made a copy. <sighs> I am going to sue your skinny ass for, you know what? I'm calling the police. Okay, you know what? Right go right ahead. ahead. Go right ahead. ahead. If that's what you want to do in your final day, say it. Go ahead. <sighs> and I will even let you, you fight me. But wouldn't you rather get your personal affairs in order? Oh my God, it's true, isn't it? Yes, I am dying. Larry, you haven't told anyone, have you? Blair, did you tell anyone about my condition? It's none of your business, please. Hey, Delgado. Oh my God, brain tumor? He's dying. Of course I didn't tell anyone. What kind of person do you think I am? You can't- Listen, Taya, your health is nobody's business but your own. And yours. No, I felt sick when I saw the report. I almost wish that I hadn't seen it. <laughs> almost. No, after everything I said to you yesterday, oh, that is- Am I being punked? What are you talking about? Who's the show for, Blair, huh? Oh my God. You're dying and you still make this hard for me. Oh, <laughs> I'm supposed to buy that you're upset at the news that I'm dying? Well, you know what? I was surprised myself, actually, yeah. What? You, you threw me out a window, Blair. You brought my ex-husband to town to try to break me and Todd up, and you succeeded. You've always wanted to destroy my life. Well, things are different now. Well, sure. Tay is croaking, and you'll get everything you want. What could I possibly gain? By you dying. Oh, the door is wide open now for you and Todd, huh? Me and Todd? Oh, it's always been your dream, and now it's coming true. You can't wait for me to die. Stop trying to act concerned, bitch. I know you can't wait. You think that I'm happy about this? Well, why wouldn't you be? How many times and how many different ways have you tried to get rid of me? Now you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is sit back and watch me go blind. And pretty soon I'll be laid up in bed. And if the tumor keeps growing, we are talking dementia. Oh, come on, Blair. All your dreams have come true. Come on, Blair. I'm Robin so Life is sorry. Stop it. Sorry. Stop. Come on, Blair. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Come on. Stop. Come on. Just, please, just tell me how I can help you. How can I help you? How can I help you? This is weird. I know. Yeah. Okay. Here. Did you need it? Oh, you need it more than I do. You no, look like a raccoon. No, you should look in the mirror. Ugh. I do want to help you any way that I can, and I know that we have been less than kind to each other. <laughs> Is that really the best you can okay, do? Okay, okay, all right. Raccoon eyes. Okay, okay. Um, I've always hated your guts. Is that better? <laughs> I swear to you, everything just threw out the window when I read the report. I mean, uh, oh, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I really wouldn't wish this on anyone. 
especially a mother I wouldn't even know where to start. Neither do I. Have you talked to a doctor? Yeah. I got a second opinion. Um, they confirmed Greg's diagnosis. So you just, what? Gonna give up? I mean, Danny is not gonna let you give up. Daniela won't have a choice. I'm not telling her. Hey, you can't keep this a secret from Danny. I have to. No, I mean, even if you wanted to, there's... There's just gonna be physical stuff. She's gonna know that something's wrong. There's gonna be symptoms. Okay, but not yet. All right, I have to have some time to think. I need to figure out how I'm gonna deal with this. I can't tell her yet that I'm... I have to be able to tell her clearly, calmly, right? Matter of fact, I'm dying. Practice last night. What the, uh, have you told anyone? Oh, Blair, there's no one to tell. What about Don? <laughs> He's um, busy at the Taya. moment. Taya. Taya. Todd cares about you. And he's Danny's father. He would not want you to go through this alone. Oh. Unbelievable. Hello? Hey, I need to see you. Yeah, I'll be right there. I gotta go. It was Todd, wasn't it? Say, you gotta tell him. Think about it. No, don't talk yourself out of this, all right? Maybe I'll tell him when he gets out of the hospital. No, let him help. You honestly think Todd helps? Let him surprise you. I mean, couldn't you use just a really great surprise today? <laughs> Thank you for keeping this to yourself. Sure. Thanks for being a dishonest snoop. Anytime. I would not believe the morning I had. First, I get dragged in front of Judge Fitzwater. Then I find out Judge Nolan tossed the plea agreement. Cole's looking at attempted murder and no bail. Nora basically accused the judge of being on the take. Blair, what's the matter? Hold me. It's about time. I mean, thank you. Glad you're here. Yeah, uh, we need to talk about this chick, Hannah O'Connor. Yeah, we will. But uh, first, there's something I need to tell you. 